I'm going to show you the best and quickest way to edit any form of video that requires several camera angles. I use this a lot for editing live performance and I also use this technique when editing music videos that have a performance aspect. Using a multicam sequence is a much quicker and efficient and cleaner way of editing a multi-camera setup. Today I'm going to be editing in DaVinci Resolve, however I do know that this works over other editing softwares. The very first thing you want to do is get organised, you want to collect all of your clips and all of your audio and place them inside of media bins in your editing software. And you'll see throughout this whole thing that organization is a very big part of this process. I'm going to be using a live performance for this example today. And what I generally tend to do to start off the project is I go through the waveform of the audio and I find a level where it clips at a clear peak. Here we have the sound of a snare, it cuts through and it's a very clear peak that we can line everything up to. And then you want to go through every single one of your camera angles and find that exact same point and set your point to that snare hit. Once you've done this you then want to drag the video only onto your timeline. Make sure they line up with this peak and stack them on top of each other onto different tracks. I then change the colour tag of every single one of these clips and rename them to know exactly which camera they are. Once you get deeper into the edit it's going to be really difficult to be able to tell these clips apart without a very clear visual indicator. On this current timeline you want to make all of your colour corrections to Rec 709 on each clip and if you are shooting on several different cameras you want to match them all here. Once you've made all of your corrections and added any effects that you would like like noise reduction then duplicate this timeline. You want to rename the original timeline that you've just duplicated to raw and right click on the duplicated timeline and select convert to multicam clip. Then we're going to create a new timeline using the exact same settings and we'll call this multicam edit. We're going to drag over our converted multicam clip. I like to lock the audio at this point to make sure that I don't accidentally move it around or make any cuts that I don't want to make. Another handy step at this point is to turn off any kind of colour grade or effects just to help with playback. In terms of playback you can also lower your playback resolution to a half or a quarter. Next up you want to view your multicam options and as you can see here all of my six camera angles are now viewable. I will click play and I will start at every single point that I want a cut place in. If I'm editing a music video which we are here I'll place all the cuts on a beat or like a kick drum, a snare, just so that the visuals match up nicely with the audio. Once I've made that cut, I will then play over that section and watch all of my different multicam options so I can then select the best one to go in there. If it's a, a guitar lead, I'm going to want to focus on the guitar. And another little tip for this part is I don't really like to bundle camera angles together. By that I mean if I've just come from camera one and I've gone to camera two, then I'll go to camera three before I go back to camera one. That is unless it makes sense to go instantly back to camera one. This kind of just breaks up the repetitiveness of the cuts, keeps people more interested and visually it's just more appealing. Okay so we've made all of our cuts. So now on the track above we want to create an adjustment layer and drag it over the entire timeline. This adjustment layer is going to be our colour grade. This helps with the efficiency of playback and exporting. It just means that basically you don't have a hundred clips with different colour grades on. Once you've made your grade you want to duplicate this timeline. Just rename this to something like untouched or something is basically just so that you've got something to go back to in case you make any mistakes. Going back to the timeline that you've just duplicated then want to select all of your clips on your timeline not including your adjustment layer. Right click, select flatten multicam clip and retaining grades from angles. You'll then see that the whole timeline has gone back to the original coloured tags that you gave them. Move our adjustment layer up a few here. So I've got six cameras so we'll move the timeline to track seven and we'll then lock that layer. Next we want to go up to the top and select timeline, select clips with clip colour and select the colour that one of your cameras have been set to. Holding down the alt button and pressing the up key, this will then move all of that camera angle up to its own track. You want to rinse and repeat this for the rest of your camera angles and then rename the tracks to which camera angle they are. You can go into your colour grading tab and just by hiding the tracks of the layers that you don't want to access it makes adjustments a lot easier. If you do mess up at any point after this once you have flattened your multicam sequence remember you do have an unaltered version so you can always go back to that select and drag back over. Remember to always work non-destructively wherever possible. I hope this video has helped you. This tip has has helped save me so much time over the years. If you found any value, please subscribe for more content. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.